You ever binge something on Netflix at 2 a.m. that you swear you don't even like anymore and suddenly your nerdy brain goes, wait, what even runs this? Turns out, Netflix, the giant of smooth streams, buttery UI, and creepy accurate recommendations, runs on Java. Yes, Java. The same language that made you cry over semicolons in college. The one that looks like it's stuck in 2003. That Java. And it gets better. Netflix didn't just inherit Java from some legacy codebase. They chose it on purpose. Let that sink in. While the tech bros online are arguing over which framework sounds cooler, Rust, Go, Bun, whatever, Netflix is out here moving petabytes of data through good old Java like it's no big deal. And you'd think, surely they must be hiding it behind a wall of modern tools. Nope. They built power tools with it. Ever heard of Hystrix, Eureka, Zool, all made by Netflix, all written in Java, all handling millions of requests like it's just another Tuesday? Meanwhile, some of us are still trying to fix a CSS issue in dark mode. The wild part? People still joke that Java is outdated, or that it's only for ancient enterprise apps with 500-page PDFs as documentation. But guess what? Over 90% of Fortune 500 companies still use it. Because while the rest of the world is chasing shiny new languages, Java just sits back and runs the internet. It's not cool, it's not sexy, but it's solid. Like the programming version of your dad's 20-year-old Toyota Corolla that still starts every morning without fail. So next time you're watching Netflix, remember this. Behind that beautifully addictive front end, there's a back end powered by a language most devs gave up on after printing Hello World. Java isn't dead, it's just quietly winning.